Jason, let, let's talk about this, because what, what happened here? How is Karen Bass, a longtime community organizer, trailing against Caruso, a longtime Republican yeah. who uh, donated generously to the Republican Party, including candidates who fought against abortion rights? Right. How is he winning? And I know Snoop endorsed him. <laughs> and look, I, black men vote over. I know you're going to tell me black men vote overwhelmingly dem Democratic. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of black men who endorse Karen Bass, from yes. Don Cheadle, John Legend, our friend Yvette Nicole Brown, of course, mm -hmm. uh, is a big supporter of hers. But I am baffled at some of the people who have endorsed Rick Caruso. What happened here? Um, $40 million happened. Right. Rick Caruso right. spent $40 million to get 41%. This is like a million dollars per Above. percentage. Yeah, okay? really. And to put this in perspective, because this is a primary for a mayor's race, Rick Caruso spent as much money in the primary as Kamala Harris did running for president. Mm. Okay? So to spend that much money and you're still only ahead by like 1.7% of the vote is indicative of the fact that he hasn't been able to trick everybody. Yeah. Karen Bass only raised about $3 million. But here's the issue on the ground. Number one, it takes a lot of effort to vote. A lot of people still don't care. A lot of people aren't engaged this early in the system. And number two, these myths about black male voters have to stop. These myths about black voters have to stop. Mm -hmm. If you actually look at the data, 70% of majority black districts in this city actually voted for Karen Bass. 38% mm -hmm. Latinos voted for Rick Caruso. So this idea that just because Snoop or, or Cube or somebody, and Ice Cube didn't, but just because one famous black person endorses another rich guy doesn't mean that black men are at risk in this election. It, it, it's much more important to point out the fact that you have a race that is being affected by money. It's being affected by national narratives that don't necessarily apply to what's actually happening on the ground. And I think sometimes the way we talk about black voters, we act as if, whether it's $25 gas cards in Georgia, right, yeah. or, or community centers in Cleveland, we act like black people are for sale. And we're not. You yeah. go out, you campaign, you're going to get black votes. Yeah. And this whole narrative that, like, black people are so loyal to the Democratic Party, uh, the devil is a lie, okay? Black people are loyal to black people. And who is going to do something for black people? That's how black people vote. Roland, I want you to take a listen, because uh, it's something very interesting. The police back Caruso, uh, and they have been running ads and putting a lot of money uh, into attacking Karen Bass. Take a listen uh, to this ad that the police union ran against Karen Bass. Councilman Mark Ridley Thomas and ex-USC Dean Marilyn Flynn indicted for bribery, conspiring to steer taxpayer funds to USC in exchange for free tuition for Ridley Thomas's son. In Congress, Karen Bass took $95,000 in free tuition from the same indicted USC dean, then repeatedly voted to give USC millions in taxpayer funds. Ridley Thomas and Flynn faced decades in jail, but Karen Bass wants to be LA's next mayor? That doesn't seem right. This ad doesn't even really make sense to me. You know, I, I don't even get the connection. Um, but voter turnout was, among young people, pretty pretty low. Um, and, you know, it did create a, a challenge for her. What do you think happened here? Um, first of all, on the police union, let's be perfectly clear. Uh, police unions across the country do not support progressive candidates. Uh, you had the right. police unions in Harris County uh, in Houston, where they literally supported all of these prosecutors running for uh, for judge uh, positions because they oppose cash bail reform. So that's going to always be the case. Y'all are talking about black voters. First of all, let's be clear. L.A. ain't Atlanta. It ain't Houston. I see black celebrities, but L.A. doesn't even have 10 percent black population. We're in L.A., we're talking white people and we're talking Latinos. And what we have to understand, when there are issues such as crime, when there are issues such, such as the economy, America has this natural affinity, let's go for the rich white guy to solve the problems. We've seen this happen all the time. What has to happen for Congresswoman Karen Bass is she has to drive base, 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 base. You look at, what's, you look at what happened uh, in, uh, in Pittsburgh, Summer Lee. She beat back money. You can beat back money when you drive your base and you drive turnout. And so you're not going to win the air war. But guess what? You can take out as many TV ads as you want, but if you still got to get the number of votes. And so the Bass campaign has to be focused like a laser on looking at those numbers and saying, where are we soft and how are we turning out our base? And so that, that wins all elections. And so votes always trump money. And I think we sometimes fall for the shiny object of the rich guy. No, 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 no. How is he going to improve your life not how is he going to improve his financial bottom line. And so I don't care what Snoop did or Ice Cube did or Clarence Avon or even who endorsed or bads. You have to hit your base or you're guaranteed to lose. 
Yeah, and I, I don't know how much celebrity endorsements matter, quite honestly, when it comes to um, votes, but, but we'll see. And I have to say, other candidates are out now. And so now it really will just be Karen Bass v. Caruso. So with those other candidates out, I think Karen Bass will be able to close that gap and uh, potentially uh, bring, bring home the, um, the race. So we'll see.